Search engine optimization is key to any web presence. And the good news is, with the site builder, you can easily and fully control the meta tags and other elements that are related to the importance of your page relevance within the search engines, such as Google and others. When it comes to search engine optimization, content is king. So you want to make sure that the content of your pages has been optimized to contain important keywords that are related to the terms you want your users to search for. For example, this site is all about cheese. So there are instances of the word cheese within the page content. For example, you want to make sure that the heading of your page contains an important keyword that you want to optimize for, in this case, cheese. In addition, within the content of your pages, you want to do the same. And just as important is the optimization of the hidden tags that exist within the source code of your pages that are not visible to your users. And you can find that under the Manage Pages. Within the Manage Pages, you not only have the ability to update the properties of your pages, but you can also optimize it for search engines. So in this case, I'm on the page What is Cheese? And I click on the property, and on the right side, I have the page name. The page name actually is important to search engines. So if you were to have your most important keyword appear within the page name, that would be a positive. In this case, the word cheese has been optimized there. In addition, we go to Search Engine Optimization tab. And here, you can update the page title. This is the title that shows on the top left of your browser, keywords and description. So in this case, the page title has been named to what is cheese, and there is a description that you can add. You want to keep your title short, 10, maybe 12 keywords, I'm sorry, 10 to 12 words total maximum. And your keywords is where you want to type important keywords that are related to your site. For example, in this case, I'm adding a couple keywords, and so on. And the description is where you want to use some of the most important keywords and utilize that within a description. Keep it between 15 to 20 words total. So in this case, this site is everything about cheese, giving you tips and information on how to make cheese, process cheese, and sell cheese. So I've used the word cheese a few times, but there's also a combination of keywords such as make cheese, process cheese. This could be important keywords uh, that are descriptive of the page. In fact, with the page description and the page name appear on the search engine results. So when you actually search for a website on Google and others, the description is what shows underneath the title of the page. And so it's descriptive to the user, and it's also important to the search engines. So in combination, search engines like to look at the title, the keyword to some degree, importantly the description, and also the content of your pages. So if you optimize all three on each of your pages for specific keywords, you maximize the ability to have better optimization and visibility within engines such as Google. And that's how easily you can manage the keywords, meta tags, and other elements for your web pages. For each and every page of your site, you can have unique title, keywords, and description. Go ahead and give it a try.